Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Del and I'm back today with episode 14 of season 2 on Football Manager 2015. It has been a while, I know there has been a lack of episodes recently, I've just taken a bit of a break from the game, I was getting a little bit burned out, it's now been a month since I've actually played the game, it's been a couple of weeks since the last episode and I am ready to jump straight back in with where we left off which was a 5-0 defeat to Atletico Madrid, it was a friendly though and in the league we are coming off the back of two victories which is very promising indeed now today we're going to be playing Osasuna and Alcatron Osasuna are up first but before that I have got a fair few emails to uh, go through so the first one Danny Bautista got injured versus Atletico Madrid which is shite so he's out for four to five weeks confidence update made me laugh because they've gone your captain of Craig Davies who we believe to be a very good signing has been particularly pleasing He's been fucking awful. Craig Davies has been awful, apart from like the past two games in the league where he's got goals. He's been awful before that, but sure, if the board are happy with it, then I'm happy with it. Um, Cardiff have sacked their manager, and they reckon that we're going to be, well, that, we're, that I am going to be the manager to take over. The only reason I've flagged this one up, I've had a couple of them, for example, Huddersfield and someone else, I can't remember the other team. The only reason I brought this one up is because Cardiff are my second favourite team behind Man United because I was actually born in Cardiff and I consider Cardiff my home. So, yeah, I would be quite interested in managing them, but it's probably not going to happen. If we get a job interview, we'll go for it and we'll just see what happens, but the chances of me taking over there are pretty slim because I'm starting to get quite attached to Real Oviedo. The final one is Johnny Rice has signed a new contract with ourselves, which is fantastic. I'll keep him here for another two and a half years. Now, going into this game, uh, to show you the lineup we're running, we're running with a four, it's going to be defensive, Osasuna are sat in fifth place, we're playing at their ground, so we're going with a 4 2 2 2 got a back four of Camille, Fernandez, Vila and Calderon, obviously Magna Zelaya is the one in goal because Severo is just coming back from an injury actually, he was out injured, where is he, where's Severo gone? Diego Severo, there he is, I put him on the bench, that's why. He's coming back from injury, uh, give him another game or two to get back to full fitness and then we'll be able to play him again. Craig Davies, like I said, doing well, so we're playing him. Magnus is in goal because Esteban is still out for another month and a half. Yes, five to six weeks. We've got Omba at defensive mid alongside Generilo. So say he's on the right and Eagle on the left. Ardenaz playing just behind Craig Davies. So... Let's get going. In game, the uh, transfer window has just opened today. Not really sure what to do. I'm tempted to buy another keeper and replace Magnus Zelaya because Esteban will be back in a month and a half, so I don't really want to take him out of the squad because he would then be the backup keeper if we manage to get be a better keeper. Sorry, for um, for Magnus Zelaya, we can also move up to 19th as well, which would be quite good if we manage to get a win here. Leapfrog over Albacete, Cadiz, and Hagostera. Let's hit continue. Decision to drop Oscar Rubio's quite a bit of a stir. Um, just being rested. Yeah, he actually was on 84% fitness, so yeah, he is just being rested. Opposition instructions, we listen to Joshua Lopez. Roberto Torres, he reckons, and Karim Ansaf Ansarifard. Okay, team talk. Better performance than last time, for sure. Yeah, keep our run going, though. And, uh, I wanted, like, running, uh, keep our run in the league going, but sure, let's just say I've got faith in everyone. Hopefully it'll turn things around. Everyone but on for in the midfield. And only Calderon in the defence, and Fernandez still seems confused. Not the end of the world. Let's get going in our blue and white against their red and navy blue. Let's go. Hopefully, like I said, been a while since I've played this, so a little bit rusty, but hopefully our form in the league should... Oh, that was a bit bloody close. Hopefully our form in the league should carry us through this game without me having to make too many changes. Ardenas hurtling down the right-hand side. He's going to whip the ball across. It's fallen to Ongba. Ongba! Oh, why did he not just have a fucking shot? Oh, my God. Okay. We've got the goal kick past it short. Running into the middle of the pitch, played off to Torres, to Luckias. Good challenge from Generilo. Craig Davies has picked it up, played it back to Aniko. Aniko's hurtling down the left side, played it into Craig Davies, passed it across, lost possession to Torres. 
We are running as well with a defensive, just purely because I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. Running with defensive, just because we're something like 17 places below them. That is an bloody hell. That's a strike and a half. Look at. So I know we've just conceded, but that is one hell of a goal. Fuck me. Alright. One down. Hopefully that was just a fluke and it's not a sign of things to come. Considering maybe sticking it on counter instead. I don't know, I'll go a little bit longer, see how the uh, see how it seems to go. Because it seemed fairly even so far. We haven't had a lot of possession, but shots wise it's been relatively similar. Huay Hualde played it across to Uyye. To Lotias. Good interception there from David Fernandez. Played it off to Ardenaz. Oh, if only you put it over the top, Greg Davies would have been through. Why didn't you put it over the top? Constantly losing possession here. I don't think there hasn't been any advice. No, not at all. Okay, Craig Davies. Played it across to Ardenaz. Ardenaz looking for the pass to Sosaita. Played it in to Ardenaz again. No. Throw in. Okay. But we're not going to get to see the throw. Make the changes on Jordan Lutiers. Goal kick from Magnus Elia. Played all the way back. Don't feel comfortable with Magnus Elia in goal. Not at all. Wish we had Esteban. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I did not mean to hit analysis. Did not mean to hit tactics either. Let's go counter instead. Goal scorer, Dilaz Cuevas. Oh, he's just put it over the goal. Lottiers playing off Dilaz Cuevas. Good challenge, though. Torres has put it wide. Make the changes there. Free kick came off the wall. Lottiers, they've got a corner. Oh, oh, I thought that was a penalty then. Jesus, to say it's a free kick. Oh, he's put it wide. Well wide. A bit disappointing. Craig Davies was offside. Can we pick it up from their goal kick? They've played it short again. They're a fan of these short goal kicks. In that case, have I got that? Yeah, let's go for that instead. That should help a fair bit. No one's getting stuck in. Good challenge, Fernandez. Oh, big save. I don't know if that was going in anyway, but still a big catch. Jonathan Vila's not playing particularly well. Go on, we've beaten them to it. Omba, who's just, where is he playing that to, though? That was an awful pass. Torres played it back to Luttiers. A good challenge from Jedham. That was a good challenge. Come on, ref. Yellow card for that, really? Come off the wall. Good challenge from Camille. There we go. Play it down the wing. No, okay. Going to bring Vila off at half time. Probably for Sergio. Potentially Omba as well. So I'm considering maybe bring, I could bring Severo on actually. Saying all that. Play him as a target man. Struggle to control possession. That, um, yeah, it hasn't really been good enough so far. Much better showing is what I want. Hmm. I don't really want to make all three subs. I'm going to take off Vila for Sergio, like I said. I'm going to take off Ardenas for Severo. And I'll leave on but on for now. Severo will play as a target man, though. Like he usually does. Used to. Before he got injured. Change that to flexible. Instructions-wise. Clear ball to flanks, hit early crosses. Yeah. If I bring up Severo's um, instructions, I kind of want him to stick hold position. It's not available. Okay. All right. Let's leave it at that then. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Start the second half. Start off with their throw in. Oh, big save. Didn't manage to catch it though, only parried it. Right across to Lottiers in the middle. To Torres, they're just dancing around outside our box. Magnus Lyers scooped it up though. 
They've got to throw in again. Gonna have to stick it on like control or attacking or something soon, I reckon. Good challenge from Calderon. There we go. Played it to Sosaita. Hoofed it all the way back to the keeper. Why? Magda's a liar. Channeling is in Anoya. And Sarifard. First we've seen of him this game, actually. Thought he was supposed to be one of their key players. Ooh, gone wide. Approaching the hour mark. Magda's a liar with another goal kick. Hoofed it far forward this time. There we go. Generally low on the ball. Hoofed it forward. Nobody's there, though. Oh, David Fernandez didn't even get his head to the ball there. I think that was Fernandez. Can't. Yeah, it was David Fernandez. Could tell because he's he's a lot paler than the others. Goal kick again. Can we retain possession from this goal kick? No. David Fernandez picked it up back to the keeper who's cleared it out again. Straight to them though. Just aimless kicking the ball. Big save, par parrying it around the post. They've got a corner now, though. Fernandez with the big clearance to Severo. Severo holding up the ball. Played it back to Calderon, though. Craig Davies looks like he's fallen back into his old form. Hasn't done well. I was really hoping it was a sign of things to come when he got that brace. But no. Big save. Big, big save indeed. Sosaita with the corner. No, hasn't even fallen to anyone. And Nico played it back to Generilo. Onba to the wing. Sosaita, but he's just going to lose possession. There we go. Camille to Onba. Generilo, before you lose possession. Sergio all the way forward. No. Oh, seriously? There we go. Camille... Oh, again, just lost possession. 75th minute. I'm going to pause it and going to move it to attacking instead. We need just a change. Need something else to happen. Ball's gone wide. Goal kick again from Maguna Zilaya. And Nico with the big challenge there, though. Headed down by Oya. Fernandez, how can you not pick that ball? Oh my fucking god. What the balls was that? Like, seriously, what in the world? Right, just give it a pause for a second. I know we're on the attack, but we're probably going to lose that ball there. Um, I can't bring Davies off for anyone, so that's useless. On, but I can bring off for Sene, though. And play Sene forward. Generilo to there. And give him the attacking role there. Roll with that instead. And give Sosei to the attacking role. There we go. Confirm changes. Yes. And play. Craig Davies. Oh my god. And Eco scored. Right. Oh, it's fucking offside. <laughs> of course it's offside. Of course. Oh, good God. What more do you want from me, game? I'm going to change this to fluid as well. Bam. Was a, just a little bit wide, pal. Okay, make the changes there. Not long to go. So, say so he has passed it for the free kick for once. Jeffrey, so why did you not just pass it in? Abysmal display. Absolutely pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. 3 0. Alright. Formation change, I reckon. The break, it seems, did not help me. Didn't help us at all, by the looks of things. Performance was disappointing, undoubtedly. Not happy with the performance. Craig Davies, what the fuck was that? Seriously. Thank God you seem motivated. For one saving grace. Look at those stats. Well, sat comfortably at the bottom of the table again. Our next game is against 
Alcatron? Yes, Alcatron. I'll be back with you guys just before we play them. Alrighty guys, I'm back just before the game against Alcatron. Now, a lot of changes have happened in the week between these games. I told you the transfer window had opened. First thing, we're just going to go to one email that I've saved. Ardenaz is now out for two fucking months. He hadn't really been informed, but that's another option less that we've now got. He's out for two bloody months in training. Anyway, a lot of things have happened. The first thing I shall bring to your attention is this guy, Asker Sorensen. He is now part of our team. We have got him on loan from Red Bull Salzburg as we have got a partnership with them. And I just got an email saying, hey, these guys are available for loan. I went in for three guys. We got Sorensen straight away. There was a keeper that we were in for that I thought we were going to get, but then Anderlecht made a bid for him, and I think I've signed him for 225k, so we're not getting the keeper. And then there's a right back as well, who we may still be getting, but I haven't seen anything on that in a couple of days, so hopefully we should be able to sign him after this game, ready for the next episode. The next thing... Diamantas Petrovicius, do you remember this guy? We signed him right at the beginning of the season, then we let him go on loan to... Um, where did he go on loan? CF Fuenlabrada, that's where he went on loan, he made 14 league appearances. Um, but we had no one to play at right midfield, and I checked him, and we had the option, because it's the transfer window, to recall him from his loan. So we brought him back, he's 20 years old, he's not amazing, but it's someone else that we can now play in right midfield if Sosaita cocks up. They're the two main changes that we've got. Um, obviously, I've had to take Ardenaz off. I've now got a Moigweed Petrovicius on the bench. Uh, in defence, I'm not doing this on the uh, team screen, which actually I probably should be. Yeah, let's move over to the submit team screen. We've got Magda's Lyra and goal, obviously. Rubio and right back. Sorensen, Fernandez, Sergio in defence. Ombra and Generilo again, which I'm actually going to change for e -Rice. Just figured that would probably be a better idea. Sussage on the right and equal on the left. Then we've got Severo and Craig Davies. I also checked to make sure I was doing this correctly. And sorry, I completely lost my train of thought there. Let's go. Let's just go standard and flexible, actually, because we're at home. And uh, what I was saying was, what I checked was this 4 2 2 2 2 um, formation actually is what we beat Caddies and. Leganes with it was this formation so that 3-0 loss was I'm hoping a fluke but let's hope we can get something from this game we're only 11 to 5 to win from Skybet out on evens to win okay still a very tough fix yeah I'm just focusing on what we can do position instructions Joshua Lopez apply advice okay so Arismendi Sans piano or plano, can't tell. Better performance than last time. Go and get revenge. That usually, yeah, that usually does pretty well. Let's go. I've got faith in you. Everyone but Davies, well, Severo and Davies didn't. No one in midfield. Can we get a Sergio? I think that is a left back. Yes, we can. Fantastic. Let's start the game. Jump straight in. Fingers crossed we can just get something from this game. Just if Craig Davies can just go ahead and play well, just that's all I want. Just Craig Davies to bang in a couple of goals. It's not too much to ask, surely. And Eco, oh, he's just lost possession straight away. Okay, Ono is on the ball. Oh no. He's just ran straight forward but put it over the bar. Just past the 10th minute. Not much is going on. Okay, uh, retain possession? No, I'll disagree. Craig Davies was offside. There's a surprise. You can make those changes, though. Take a more cautious approach, I suppose. Someone gets stuck in. Just take the ball off him rather than having two players follow him around. You only need one. Um, make changes there. Sergio with the throw. <laughs> Just lost possession. Generilo's picked it up. There we go. Generilo's played it all the way across to E-Rice. E-Rice picked it up forward to Sosaita. Sosaita looking for the pass, but he's just going to lose possession. I'm like Nostradamus. I just know what's going to happen. Ooh, ball's gone wide there. Okay. Severo not having a game. Not really what we like to see. 
Piana. Running at the defense. Sorry about that, that just got interrupted during the recording. Let's hit play again. They've got a throw, good clearing head and good clearing head there from Sergio, but it just fell to them anyway. I feel like we've got to change up a little bit. Let's go controlled instead, because even though it's just not working at the moment, nothing we do seems to work. I thought that was going to be either a penalty or a goal for them then. Just get, oh my god, it's gone wide. Thank god for that. Just nothing we do seems to work. And I don't know what more we can do, to be honest. They've got a free kick just before half time, but it's gone over. There we go, half time. Make those changes. Um, yeah, far from please, nothing's going well. Severo's not playing well. Sorensen's not playing well. Great. I mean, he's not an amazing player, he is only 19, but. When you compare him, if I just go to coach report, he's still like the same as Sergio, only slightly worse than McCarthy. His potential is massive, although saying that, um, his judging isn't particularly good. Let's have a look at someone else who... Okay. It's besides the point, right? I'm stumbling over my words a little bit here. What we need to do is tactics and make some changes, but I don't know what. Sorensen's debut, we'll take him off. Vila, back on. Do we take Severo off for Amoigui? Do we change Severo's role? Let's change him to a deep lying forward instead. Stick him with the attacking role though. Yeah, let's do that. e -Rice isn't playing well. I don't really want to take him off, though. Do we, yeah, let's just make one sub. Team shape fluid. Let's look at the instructions. Direct passing works. Clear more to flanks. Exploit the flanks. Higher tempo and be more disciplined. Okay, prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. And... Hmm... No, I don't really want to put play wider. Hit early crosses and float crosses. Let's go with that. Let's hit start second half. It's still nil-nil. I mean, still getting a point if things stay as they are. Yuji Ono is apparently getting a lot of space. They've got the throw-in. Tipped over the bar by Magna Zelaya. Not too bad. Need to retain possession. I don't really want to add that. But I could. Severo's just on 6.2 now. Oh my god, how do you not save that? Seriously, how does that not get saved? That's re oh. It's a head. Like, Magda's line is too far off his line there. He should be able to save that, but no, apparently not. Alright then, one down. Let's see if we can come back from this. Society's just been challenged instantly. Piano's played it to Sands. Nobody's there to get the ball off Ono, oh who's Hoofed it wide anyway. Thank God. 20 minutes to go. Um, okay, let's just make both those changes. Let's hit pause. Let's stick it on attacking. Oh no, apparently we didn't hit pause. Generino. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh no, corner. Okay. Here we go. Can we get something from this? Whipped across. No, it's cleared. Back to Sasaito. He's going to whip it in, surely. Oh, for fuck's sake. Severo's just doing awfully. Let's just pause last dying minutes here. Severo off for Omoigui. Petrovicious. No, I'm not going to bring on Petrovicious. There's no point at this. So, well, hmm. Okay, maybe there is. Let's bring him on for Society. Let's stick him as an attacking instead. Let's go for that. Very much like to salvage a point from this game. So, let's just go. All we need is one goal. Oh, Sergio is going to get booked. Yeah, it's yellow. Good. Thank God it's not a red. Is anything going to happen? Dying minutes. Oscar Rubio with the throw to e -Rex. Back to Rubio. He played it forward to Petrovicius. He played it off to a Moigui. Good first touch from Petrovicius. Played it forward to Aniko. Oh, no, intercepted. Needed more weight behind it. Did that. Now Ono's on the ball and he's put it wide anyway. Three minutes of injury time. Okay, make that no injury time. We lost 1-0. 3-0 and 1-0 and a 5-0.
previously we haven't scored in three games and we've conceded nine. <sighs> Looks like a change of tactics is definitely in order for the next episode. What can we do? Not a clue. Check the inbox, just everyone devastated and we were rejected for that keeper that we were looking for. Yeah, they've accepted the permanent transfer from Andelect. So yeah, guys, hasn't been it's been a bit of a mix and match episode. It's been absolutely boiling where I am, so I've been struggling to get my words out because it's just been so bloody hot. Um, but nevertheless, not an excuse for our performance. So next episode we play Lugo, who are in first, and Real Zaragoza, who are now in ninth. After that, we play Cordoba in second and Mallorca in eighth. So the next, the next four games are going to be bloody tough. All we need, my aim for this season is just to avoid relegation. But look, we're bottom of the table currently, avoiding relegation. Try and get our finances in order. Try and offload some of our higher wage players because if we have a look currently, uh, I've got it sorted by wage. Espan's our highest earner, which makes sense. But Craig Davies earning five. 1250 a week, E Rice earning 4200 It's not really justified. I mean, I know E Rice has just been given a new contract, but Davies probably has to go. Maybe take a couple of these guys down, a couple of hundred a week, get some money back, that sort of thing. Offload a couple of people who aren't performing, for example, potentially Davies. Maybe Calderon. Calderon's not doing too well that sort of thing but anyway guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it hasn't been a good episode but nevertheless it has been another episode and a episode is better than no episode hope you guys enjoyed if you have please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the rest of the episodes in the series and i hope you guys have a good rest of the day bye, -bye for now it's a top-down vehicular combat game where the goal is to eliminate all the other racers by picking up various power-ups or ramming them off the screen with the aim to be the last vehicle standing. Different game modes means different goals, however, with one game mode titled Knockout rewarding you with a point for every race you take out, whereas Survival does what it says on the tin, do all you can to survive for maximum points. A lot more game modes are planned for the final release, so keep an eye on the Kickstarter for more information on those. The power-ups feel balanced, obviously some of them are better than others, but they all have their strong...